common question that I've gotten over the past year or so has been Teams versus Yammer. When would I use Teams? When would I use Yammer? Can I have a group that has both Teams and Yammer in it? Do they compete with each other? I'm hoping that this video will just clear all of that up and provide some, some better guidance on what Microsoft's strategy is for when you would move to Yammer or when you would leverage Teams. Microsoft explains this with an inner loop and outer loop analogy. You'll see up on my screen here that we've got the inner loop conversations are more like Teams, online meetings, uh, video chatting, things like that. Teams is a chat client. It's more real time. You expect a response in a somewhat timely fashion. When you move to the outer loop or the people that you work around, you don't necessarily know these people, that's when you get into the more discussion-based platforms. And that's where you CERN Connect discussions lived, was in that discussion-based, almost like a forum type of an atmosphere. This is where Yammer fits, is in that outer loop where I don't necessarily know these people, but we share a common interest, we're coming together to discuss a topic. So. Hopefully that kind of clears up the inner loop and outer loop if you see that from Microsoft. At Cerner, I think we've simplified it a little bit more. The graphic is a lot more simple. There's less applications on it. I like to think of this strategy as a cross section of the earth. If we were to cut the earth in half, we have the core out to the crust and everything in between. At the core is your OneDrive within Office 365. This is where your individual work-related files live. So this is where I'm working on true individual contributor type files. Now, I may want to share these files with somebody, but that would be an ad hoc sharing from our point of view. It's something that I'm going to share out. I'm going to get an opinion. I'm going to get somebody to review it, and then we're done sharing. So I'm sharing with a limited scope, possibly, probably a limited timeline. Now, whenever I want to do ongoing collaboration, that's when I move out to these other solutions. With Microsoft Teams, that's one level out, my inner loop, those are the people that I work with regularly. So this might be my actual team organizationally. I actually know these guys that I'm working with, or it could be cross-organizational, many teams coming together to work on a common project or a common goal. So we're, we're moving towards a, a common direction. I actually work with these people. Teams is my hub for that teamwork. All of our tools are together and all of our files are together. And we're chatting about the project or the goal that we're working on. Now, when I move one level out, the people that I work around or I share a common interest with, that's who I interact with on Yammer. So Yammer is the social network of Office 365. This is where, you know, parking lives this is where associate devices lives there is a an actual limit on microsoft teams in that you can only have a team that has up to 5000 members because of this something like parking or something like associate devices doesn't really make sense because there are way more than 5000 people who care about parking and security or care about um corporate mobile phones for example so those make sense to come in to yammer and Yammer being the discussion-based platform, you post out there, and then you check back and see what people have responded with. Not only the owner of the solution or the owner of the service, but other experts who may know things that the team who supports it don't know. So Yammer versus Teams, it's really an and. It's not so much an or. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, I hope you have a great day, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you